bisa menunggu. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I built, or not built, but put together my sedan camper. So I have a 2012 Subaru Legacy, um, and I sleep in it, and it works. The reason I'm doing this, uh, well, the first reason I did this is because I really enjoyed, I really enjoy camping, right? But I hate setting up tents and such. I, I hate it. Uh, I know it's just, it might be a bit strange, but uh, I want, I wanted to fi figure out a way around having to set up and take down a tent every time I go camping. So I built this out. Uh, when I began this build, or when I, when I was look, researching it and looking up on YouTube, it was all the same, you know remove your back seats drill out this in in somewhere pull out the fabric up here and get access to the the, the bare metal up top but I, I wanted none of that I don't want to drill in, into anything I don't want to take apart whatever this is called up here and um, I don't want to remove my back seats I still use those back seats a few times a month so uh, I, I don't want to get rid of those things so um, I had to come up with something on my own. Maybe I missed a video or two showcasing a no-build sedan camper, um, but uh, I, I couldn't find any for the life of me, so I made my own. And uh, here's my tutorial on how I did it, and I hope it helps you guys out. Uh, but yeah, let, let's get started. Make sure your two seats are even, um, preferably farther up. We need the wire shelf, so let's get that over there. Alrighty, so what this shelf does is allows us to rest our heads in the abyss here in between where the seats are down in that center console. Sits right on top of those headrests just fine. And then it uses the center console. Use that as support. Let me show you a few options to give this a little more support. I have two cut to size PVC pipes. I throw them underneath here. That is much more support than that center console there. Once we put in the foam mattresses, um, that lip right here flattens out. Next we need to do the shower rods to create privacy from the front of the cab. We're going to put a tie down around this beam here for the door. We're going to use this to mount the shower poles. And check that out. Installing the mattresses now.
all blacked out windows. You can't tell, but um, no one can see in or out of these. And then uh, it is surprisingly comfortable on the back of our little sedan here. So this is my sedan camper. Um, I hope it helped you out. Uh, it's really hard to find a video showcasing how to make a sedan livable, or sorry, campable, not livable. You know, a lot of the videos I found was how do I make my sedan livable, but we're just looking to sleep in it for a night or two, and this just works. I've used it on multiple occasions, a couple times with my wife, and it sleeps both of us comfortably. So it's proven, it works, and it's easy, which is super, super nice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out a little bit. Um, and I hope, you know, if you're looking to do this same thing, uh, I hope this video gives you some idea of where to start. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.